home. I'm taking you home. Oh, I don't want to go home now. I still want to hang out with you. Come on, you know you need to prepare dinner for your people. Huh? I see. Somebody is using what I told him against me. No, I'm not doing that. I know you are. No, I'm not. I'm just looking out for you. You're my wife. I can't use anything against you. Of course, you know your mom is going to have your head if you don't prepare the enough time. Okay, please, just take me home. I'm already taking you home. <laughs> my beautiful angel. So, what about your friend? Oh, she's fine. She's okay. okay. Did she come to meet you today? Who? My friend, Tracy. <sighs> no, she didn't. Like, she didn't come to your department to see you. She didn't come to meet me, babe. Why are you asking like twice? Oh, nothing. Oh, this is his top one good. You can say that again. So, you can see the reason why I don't think she's going to come and meet anybody. <laughs> yeah, she has pride, that girl. Stop, Joe. That's my friend you're talking about. <laughs> I know you were the one that asked. I know what you're talking about. tell me that she's stubborn and she has pride. Cool, babe. I'm taking you home. Let's just enjoy. <laughs> Madam, I saw this outside and I decided to bring it for you. Okay, that's fine. I'll take it from here. Yeah, let's see. Hmm. Happy birthday to you, my love. I miss you. <laughs> How did you know it was my birthday? I didn't tell him anything. Grace, you are still around? Yes. Ah, uh, yeah, I was about to leave. Oh, mm. let me, let me see. No, 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 just give it to me. <laughs> Can you just give it back? Give it back, Trey. Tracy. Mm -hmm. This smells so nice. Give it back. <laughs> Tracy, that's private. Trace, that's private. That's private. Oh. So, uh. this same Alex. Tell me, what about your boyfriend, your teacher boyfriend? Ah, uh, so so. He's there. I know he's there. What's going on between you two? Tell me. Uh, well, darling Trace, I'm really late for work and I need to go. Take care of yourself, okay? Bye. Ooh. Are you are, are you serious? I have patience to take to. Please. Bye. Because I asked about your poverty streaky boyfriend, you remembered you have to go to work. Crazy girl. Today is my birthday. I need my own flowers too. Today is my birthday, Mom! Mom! I got your gift. I came to say thank you. All right. Happy birthday. How did you know it's my birthday? Your sister. I don't understand. She's my friend on Facebook. Oh. I forgot. Well, thank you. I'll take my leave. Where are you going? Dress like that. I now work at the specialist hospital. Yeah, I remember you dropped off your application letter and disappeared probably because of what happened. And um, yeah, suddenly you work at the hospital now. Congratulations. Well, Alex. 
I can't fight my twin over you. Goodbye. How did you find my face? You mean the house you've been hiding? Goodbye, Alex. Why can't I live with the one I love? Oh my God. I feel so helpless. I don't want the whole world to call me names. I'll be labeled a killjoy, a boyfriend snatcher. If I do this, Should I just listen to my dad's counsel and just say yes to Alex? I've come to love him. He's the only man that appeals to me. He fell in love with Tracy and fell out of love with her. Should that be a determining factor to our happiness? <sighs> what do I do? What do I do? Yeah. Ooh. Where is my heart now my heart is with you i hope i don't sink in this ocean of love where is my heart now it's leaning on you it seems too late to get rid of you Dorothy said yes. Oh, oh, oh. oh. What? Yes. Yes. Shock. Where is my heart now? You keep running through my mind. Where is my heart? Hello. Hey love. Hello. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for saying yes to me. Alex. <laughs> let's do this together. Yes, let's do this. You don't know how much this means to me. I thought I had lost you. And I love you more. I love you and I love you and I love you again. Stop. I'm serious, I thought I had lost you. I'm sorry for walking away. That's okay. You're made for me. We're meant to be together. You know that? Yes. I love you. <laughs> and I love you more. But come on, babe. I really need to hurry. I'm on the morning shift. So I have to be at the hospital now. Okay? Don't worry, I'll see you when I get back from work. At the close of work, okay? That's right. See you later. Where? 
Yes, finally. I'm a happy man. Call my sister. Hello? Hi sis. Guess what? Dorothy said yes. Oh yes, she said yes to my proposal. <laughs> sis, thank you so much for being there. Thank you for always being supportive. You're the best sister in the world, you know that? Yeah. See you later. Alright, bye. Where is my heart? <sighs> it's giggling for you. Where is my heart? I told you to meet Charles and attend your apology. I should do what? You heard me right. Tracy, why are you so proud and arrogant? <sighs> Vanessa, do you mean it? When you said I should uh, beg Charles for forgiveness? Come on! Why on earth would I want to do that? For crying out loud, that fool does not mind his business. Oh, I get it. So you want me to apologize to him because he's simply from a rich home? Hell no, I wouldn't do that. Did you just refer to my man as a fool? Oh. Tracy, this is the end of this friendship. What? You heard me right. Do you know what you did? You didn't only insult my man by calling him all sorts of names. You slapped my man. Who the hell do you think you are? I am Tracy. The daughter of Chief William Sweep and Ibu. The money bag. I am beautifully unapologetic. And I can say sorry to that fool. That's who I am. You slapped my man right before me. And you expect me to keep quiet. He crossed the lines. I needed to put him in his place. He messed up. He messed up. The same man that has been looking out for you, Tracy. You didn't only insult my man. That was a slap on my face. Tracy, you went too far. That fool deserved whatever he got. He should learn to pocket his mouth. Tell your fiance or whatever he's caught to stop meddling in my affairs. Tracy, you must apologize to my man else. Else what? Read my lips. I will do no such thing. Won't do that. Then stay the hell away from me. This is the end of this friendship. Fine. I don't need you either. Get out. Good to see you. <laughs> do you know I was actually planning to come to your school to see you one of those days? Oh. <laughs> High school? Very well. Well, Dad. Mm. Hey, Derek. <laughs> you know what? Let's just start shopping for your wife. Yes. He needs to get married ASAP. Exactly what I was telling him a few minutes before you stepped in. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Wait. Dorothy? Mm -hmm. You know I'm still very young. Actually, marriage is not top on my list mm. now. Really? Sure, no. So tell me, what is top on your list? I have... I have priorities. Like? I'm still in school. But, well, marriage isn't stopping anything. You can get married, then, you know, continue going to school. At what age? Come on, Derek, you're the only son of this house. Dad, say something. I don't know you say, I have told Derek that. Because he's the only son we have here, mm -hmm. he needs to get married. Exactly. <laughs> anyway, Derek, if I must let you know, your mother and I have already started looking out for a wife for you. Not my consent, Dad. <laughs> I will get you something good. I rant nonsense. It's obvious she doesn't value this friendship. She can as well go to hell for all I... Derek? 
sis. Do you have a girlfriend? Yes, of course I do. What's her name? When? Wow. She must be so beautiful. Yeah, she is paragon of beauty. <laughs> well, tell me, Derek. If you're asked to, say, marry her, will you marry her? Yeah, but she's not yet ready for marriage. Oh, okay. I would have said you should just bring her here, let's meet her. But I understand. It's okay. It's one of those things, you know. Ooh. Um, I think I need something to drink. Derek, would you like anything? Juice, water, what do you want? No, 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 no I'm okay. You want to hug me with your stinking body? Shh, shh. Imposter, how? Shh, shh, get out. Oh, you don't know? I'll tell you. My father, Chief William C. Benable, is not. Enough, Trace! Will you shut your mouth or I'll shut it for you? What has come over you? What is wrong with you? That you open that thing you call a mouth, that gutter you call a mouth, to spew gibberish. What is wrong with you? Quiet, Dorothy. One more word of insult from you, I will make sure you regret it. Huh? Make me regret it, Reese. Make me regret it. What is... Are you senseless? Is something wrong with you? Wait. You're shamelessly attacking me because I told this fool the truth about who Who he are is? you calling a fool, Trace? Did you touch my face? No, 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 I've caressed and romanced your Did face. Did you touch my face? Will you put that thing in your head? Don't have to, I am going Bad. to put your hands together. What's your mouth with you? Bad. You have a problem, it's a problem. Hey, no, don't, 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 don't let me talk, talk to this idiot that calls herself my twin. Hey, get out of the seat. Do not, yo, get out. Stay right there. Get out. Stay right there. Stay here. I said get out. Do not move an inch. Do not say any, any word. Are you listening to me, Ozoma? Stand right there. I said get out. What right do you have to tell her to get out? What is and going on here? Dad! And as for you, I will make sure you regret this for fighting me. Dorothy will pay for it. Dress me! Dad! I said sit down! No, no, no. Here. Sit here. Hey! Hey! Shh, shh. Move away! Hey! Move away! Nonsense. Dress me. I can see you. You've become mad. Listen, one more word again from you. I will look you in the face and disown you. And what are you waiting for? Disown me. Chief, go ahead and disown me. And as for this fool, this fiend standing here can never be my brother. You have to take him back yes. from wherever you, you got him. So take him back. Your for goodness sake, what is wrong with you? you what is wrong with you? Dad, please, Dad, please just say it. You, you, you don't have to do this with her. Please. Dad, can you relax and just say please? Please. Are you not going to disown me? What is wrong with you, Tracy? Have you have you lost your sense of dignity? What is wrong with you? You think you're the only one who has the monopoly of madness, right? Dorothy, I wasn't talking to you. Sit your ass down, I Tracy. Was Tracy, sit down. Dorothy, did you push I me? I am cheap drugs or what? Did you push Tracy, me? Sit there. Hey, no, I'm so, just letting so, you do this foolish thing because of daddy. So dad, tell me, are you truly my father? Oh, poor boy. Poor Derek, let me tell you the truth. You don't have your parents living here. You were picked from the orphanage home. Daddy can tell you that. So, you are not my brother. Did I answer your question now? Tracy! My daddy is not your daddy. My mother is not your mom. You see, you're an orphan. I have to tell you the truth. Accept it. Dorothy. Dad. Did I lie? Derek. Listen. 
Tracy is crazy. I think she's on cracks or something. You don't have to listen to her. Come on. Hey. Don't do this to yourself. Listen to me. You I am telling it. you the truth. These people you are lying. Shut your, your mouth, Trevor. Nonsense. Get out of my father's house! Jerry. Get out! Hey, leave my father's house. You're an orphan. You are fatherless. You don't have your mother. You don't belong here. Get out of my father's house. Leave! Stupid boy! I hate you! I hate all of you! I hate everyone in this house! Derek. Derek, will you listen to me? Tell me what she is telling me. Have Saying I ever, yeah, have I ever lied to you before? Come on, you have to calm down. Don't listen to Tracy. She's crazy. She's Tracy. That's why she's Tracy. Come on, Derek. Derek, come on, you're a man, for God's sake. Stop. Is it true? Is what true? That yourself and mom and Derek's biological parents. Dorothy, I want to be left alone. Dad, you can talk to me. I said I want to be left alone. From your actions, Dad, it seems Tracy spoke the truth for the very first time. But I'm not one to judge. I'll just advise you, put yourself together and go talk to Derek because he's losing his mind. I blame your mom for all this. If she had not diverted the secret we kept from your children to Tracy, all this wouldn't have happened. I understand your pain. Mom has unknowingly done a whole lot of harm to this family, then good. But, you know, what beats me is she wasn't under, under duress. She had no right to, to tell anything to Tracy. She, she practically behaved like a child. Knowing the kind of person Tracy is, she shouldn't have. I will never forgive your mom for what she did to that boy. Never. Irrespective of whatever has happened, Derek is still my brother. There's no doubt about that. But that aside, I'd actually come home to, to, to share some good news with you. Which is? I said yes to Alex. You did? I did, and um, he said he'll come see you tomorrow, officially introduce himself to you and the family. Your marriage, Dr. Alex, is really going to hit Tracy like a sledgehammer. Well, Dad, I'm not doing this to get back at anyone. I'm, I'm just, I'm following my heart. Well, I, I urge you that to not allow Tracy's actions or inactions raise your BP. Uh, 
okay? Thank you. Talk to Derek. He's your son after all. I love you, Dad. So, who is the young man with you? Ah, it's my son, Alex. Alex, the poor classroom teacher. Henrietta, what has come about you? For the oftenest time, this poverty-stricken boy can never marry my daughter. Mom, you know you are embarrassing our guest, you know? Do Will you, know? you shut your mouth? How dare you speak when I'm speaking? Dr. Alice, please forgive my wife for her unruly behavior. <laughs> oh. oh. Doctor, Alex, who, who is the doctor? You came here with your clothes all stashed up. You probably borrowed it from a laundry house somewhere. To impress who? Oh, not me. Um, Derek. Yes, Dad. Says, mm -hmm. are you for real? Wow. Like you're settling for that. That thing. Excuse you. Whatever. Why are you crying more than the bereaved? Come in. Ah, bro. What's up, bro? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Your husband and his dad are here. Oh, you mean my Prince Charming is here? And he's very handsome. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Oh, please. You know what? Tell daddy I'll be right there. Okay? Okay. I'm right behind you. I'll be right back. Okay, sure. Are you seriously blushing for that poverty shrinking fool? Like you're so excited? Of course I am excited. You know what? That's left for me to know. Because my darling sister, you are not Alex's type. Uh my prince charming come on put on the wig then get the dresses let me go downstairs and see you my man <laughs> what's that Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Dad. Yes. He Thank sent you. for me. Yes. Dorothy. These men here have come to formally ask for your hand in marriage. So I want to ask, should I go ahead and accept their drinks? Yes, Dad. Mm. What is going on here? Tracy, you know him? Yes, ma'am. This is the Alex who broke my heart. Oh, I get it. You left me so you, you, you can have my sister, right? Alex, you left me for my twin sister? That is unacceptable. I won't let that happen. Never! Oh, you came to my house to set my two daughters against each other's throat. Enough. You. 
you. God bless. Dorothy, what kind of a sister are you? You came back from abroad and you did not see any other man to fully quit but your sister's man. Mom, you can say whatever you want, but I'm not leaving Alex for no one. Dorothy, do not start a fight you cannot finish. This is a sisterly advice. If I cannot have Alex, you will not have him. He left me, fine and good, but he will not leave me for you. It's simple. The funny thing now is I can't really phantom the reason for all of this. Trace, what's the fuss about? No, tell me, what's this fuss about? Listen, do not take my quietness as cowardice. Man snatcher. That is what you are. Tracy, the last time I checked, you guys even broke up before I got back into this country. So what is it? Dad will marry Dr. Alex, and that's final. Dad, hey, listen, let me tell you. You will not win in this fight. You will not win over Alex. You see, this is your problem, Trace. Do you know the reason Alex left you in the first place? Because you're arrogant, you're, you're proud, you have bad behavior. And you, you, you tend to pretend as if you're overly confident, which you're not actually, because this is stupid. Yes, and mom, why have you gone quiet all of a sudden? The same poverty-stricken Alex you both are making a fuss over now. Why? No, no, no. Tell me why exactly. Well, as dad rightly said, I will marry Alex. And there is nothing anyone can do about that. Dorothy, do not try me. Don't even try it. Because I'm sure you will not want to see the demon in me. Do you want to marry Alex? Let's see. Well, Trace, if I have the consent of God, and I have that of my dad, then trust me, darling. I will win over and over and over again. Dorothy. Alex can marry any other girl. Definitely not my twin sister. You know what, sis? You better start crying over your loss. Because guess what? You did lose him. Hey! I will sit here. No please. way! Don't be too excited. You've not won yet. I did Excuse already. Excuse me! You don't have to go to where I'm going. Hey! Hey, hey! I am going upstairs. That's it. Trace, there are so many rooms in this house. You can just pick one and just disappear there. You do not own this house. Please, make like a dance and get out! Get lost! Get lost. Hello! Look at this animal. Man snatcher! That's really You're just inconsequential. Go get another man. Go get another man. Go kill yourself, Trace! Go get another man. I hate you! Alex, what was that out there? Dad, whatever happened was expected to happen. How do you mean, Bobby? How did you know what happened? You were not there. So, how did you manage to know what happened? Dad, Alex met Tracy before. And then he dumped her because of her bad behavior. You mean Alex dated that manless girl that could not even greet me? Exactly my point, Dad. That girl is. She, she, she doesn't have any manners and she lacks home training. Just like her mother. Honestly, uh, Alex, come to think of it. Must you marry from that family? 
Dorothy is the one I want. She's the one I want to be with. Yeah. Dorothy is a nice girl, Daddy. Do you know she's even a medical doctor? She studied from Oxford University. And it just amazes me how these two people are uh, twin sisters, but they have different personalities. Okay, now that uh, the other girl and her mother are posing as a threat, will you continue with your marriage plan with Dorothy? Yes, Dad. Dorothy is the one I want. She's very well behaved. And most importantly, she is exceptional. Quite different from her sister. And um, I know I had a thing with her sister, but it's in the past. I must confess, I fell for that girl the very day you brought her home to introduce to me. Dorothy is exceptional. Yes. She's well behaved. Where is she? Where is that fool that calls herself my twin? Oh, here you are. Pressing your phone. I am sure you are chatting with my Alex. I am talking to you. You knew Alex was the guy in the big picture. You are sleeping with the same guy I kept telling you about. And you kept me in the dark all along, right? Point of correction, Trace. You think I am you? You think I am you who goes about sleeping with any guy? Listen, FYI, I left Nigeria to the UK a virgin. And I came back to this country with my virginity intact. Liar. Get out. Liar. Get out. out. You are swear and you will die. Just Fred get out. My foot. Hey, hey, listen. I will not allow you marry Alex. If that will happen over my dead body. That can be arranged, sister. Trust me. Oh, really? Yes. I could send you to the mortuary this minute. You if that's not. what you want. You but listen not. to me, Trace. As for Alex, I'm done marrying him. Behind me. You've been sleeping with the same guy I've been telling you about. What does that make you? Let me ask you a question. Did you ever tell me the name of your ex? Even when you, when you both were together, did you tell me his name? And when you found out, why didn't you stop? Why did you accept his proposal? Tracy, let me ask you a very honest question. Okay. And I hope you give me a sincere answer. If it were to be you, tell me. Would you have rejected this proposal? Answer me! Yes. Is he the only man in this world? Bravo, darling! Bravo, you just answered it! Alex isn't the only guy in this world. So please, leave him alone. Because now, he's all mine. Move on, Trace. Move on. That will not happen. Never! It has happened. You're not getting sis. married to him. Oh, really? Watch me do it. It's uh, never going to happen. It is happening. Stupid girl. Oh, please. Get, get out. out. Get out. I said it last. And FYI, you're no more my twin. Yes, me too. I hate you. And I hate you more. I hate you more. Just leave me the hell alone, Trace. Ah. Uh, don't want to. Sorry about the embarrassment. There's no need to apologize. I already knew what was going to happen, so that shouldn't bother you. I have something for you. What? You have to close your eyes. Okay. <sighs> eyes are closed. Keep them closed. Trust me, they are. Okay. Open your eyes. Wow, this is, this is beautiful. You like it? 
I love it. Like, it's really nice. This must have cost you a fortune. You deserve more than that. <laughs> Another one. Right. You have an eye for really cute things. This is so nice. Thank you. you ah, okay. That's, yeah. Okay, this is chicken hand. like this. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry, my bad. It's all right. Oh, yeah. this is truly beautiful. Okay. I love it. I love, love, love it. I could take it anywhere I want. Yeah. Mm. Nice. You like it? I love it. Sorry, I just have to do this. Oh, take your time. <laughs> I sincerely need to do this. <laughs> This is truly beautiful. <laughs> so I've decided to... What? Do the marriage right. Where is my heart now? Wow. My parents and I made that decision already. You sure have so much surprises for me today. I can't wait to meet <laughs> my wife. And I can't wait to officially call your wife. Thank you. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. What do you think about this? This is really, really nice. Mm -hmm. It's very nice. Well, let's flip and see the next. Yeah, but now oh. we've got good. Thanks. I think this is really no. This is actually going to look very beautiful on you. Check it out. I think I like it too. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> it's beautiful. Very beautiful. You're going to look gorgeous in that. <laughs> right. I like it. Absolutely. <sighs> Are you shy? Well, then is you stare me out of proportion. So. Well, because you're very pretty, I like to look at you. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, I love you, you know that? I love you more. That's great. Oh, sorry. Hello? Hi. Yes, I can hear you. Dr. Kate, I can hear you. How bad is it? Okay, I'll be there shortly. All right, all right, thank you. Bye. Um, what's going on? I have to go. There's an emergency. Emergency? What happened? Yeah, someone is in labor. Um, uh, it's very complicated, actually. Yeah. Okay, then uh, I, I think I should just go with you. Then. That, that's fine, you, can, you want to come? Uh, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. So sorry. It wasn't intentional. We had an emergency at St. Alexander Hospital. Dr. Alexis <laughs> Hospital? Yes, Dad. A lady was rushed in from a local maternity home. And, you know, she needed Dr. Alice to see to her, so. So, what happened? Well, uh, Alex and I had to carry out an emergency C-section on her. But 
Thank God. Her quadruplets made it out alive. The mother too, though. That's good news. Yes, sir. You have to see the way people kept trooping into the hospital to come see the mother of four kids. I mean, boys, all of them, all boys. Wow, the best news I've had in recent times. Mm -hmm. Dad, guess what? what? I heard she's been barren for 23 years. You're kidding me, aren't you? I ain't kidding, Dad. 23 years. Wow. God is really faithful. Please. Oh. Oh, what a day. You must be tired. Of course, Dad, I am. I'll just go freshen up, you know. Just rest. Have you had something to eat? I'm fine, Dad. <laughs> I'm good. Dorothy, I have told you to stop skipping meals. You're a medical doctor, you should know better. I know. Yeah. <sighs> Go rest inside. Oh, okay. yeah. Now that you're back. <laughs> love you, Dad. I love you more, baby girl. Oh, Dorothy! Dorothy! In one sentence, you tell me, where were you last night? <laughs> Are you sure you're all right? If you don't tell me what I need to know, I will tear you into pieces and the nothing last time will happen. I checked, Trace, I am not 18. What has come over you? Are you sure you're fine? Please. My friend, come back here. Trace, I am not doing this with you today. So really? Tracy, where were you all night? You boyfriend snatcher, you think I don't know? Oh, so that's your pain. Oh my word. You know what? FYI, I am getting married to Alex and there is nothing you can do about it. So deal with it. What is this? Please, you will not try no, it. Please, you will not try it. Damn me. Don't have to try me in this house and I will show you the stuff I'm made of. Stupid girl. I am getting married to Alex. Boyfriend snatcher. Your daughter is at it again, exhibiting her madness both inside and outside of this house. She is fighting a just cause. Dorothy cannot marry Tracy's ex. It's not done anywhere. Henrietta, if you have a problem with Dorothy marrying Dr. Alex, you must be insane. Oh yes, you better warn Tracy to stop bickering on her sister. Else, I'll be forced to unleash my anger on her. The earlier you tell Dorothy to kill whatever she has with Alex, the better for all of us in this house. So you're there, man. Henrietta, Dorothy must marry Dr. Alice. And by virtue of marriage, I remain your husband. And if this madness continues, you will leave me with no option than to throw you and that your useless daughter out of this house. Chief Williams, Ibenebu, do your worst. <laughs> Many years ago, a young promising young man came back from overseas. He met a young girl running errands for her parents who were classroom teachers. He decided to lift their family out of poverty and decided to ask for the young girl's hand in marriage. And Rita, does that ring a bell? First, your daughter will not marry a poor classroom teacher. Now the story has changed. That poverty-stricken wretched 
good for nothing classroom teacher happens to become the director of St. Alexander's Hospitals. <laughs> In life, never underestimate anyone. Never look down on people because you do not know who is who or what tomorrow holds for anyone. of this shameless ego who enjoys two sisters. What exactly is the color of your problem? You are my problem. Alex, you are the color of my problem. You used me and dumped me. You think I'm a fool? I'll be the biggest fool to let you get married to my sister. Wow. Tracy. What we shared is in the past. Yeah. I left you because you are not the right person for me. You have a bad character. I tolerated you because I'm more mature than you. Mm. Yes. You insulted my sister, did you not? I didn't know she's your older sister. Immediately I found out, I apologized to her. But I'm sorry. But I called you. I apologized and I asked for a second chance. Didn't I? I'm sorry, my family rejected your apologies. And you jumped on my sister to get married to her? Because she's better than you. A hundred times. She's well behaved. She's very respectful. She was well raised. But you? And let me tell you something. I... I asked for your sister and I to go out on a date, and uh, she accepted. So I decided to play a game. You remember my rickety car? I drove my rickety car to your sister. And she was so excited. And she loved me even more. Something you cannot do. Mm, I get it. You chose my sister over me because she came back from overseas. But let me tell you. I will be traveling to the United States of America very soon. Did you just say that? Yes. Can I buy your ticket? What? Now go call me your dad. We have a serious business to talk about. You're mad. Thank you. You're crazy. Thank you. Call your dad for me. This has not ended. Call your dad for me. What? This has not ended yet. <laughs> Hello, sir. Dr. Alex. Hey, sir. How are you? I'm doing okay. How are you, sir? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, how's everything? Fine. I'm still there. You will take me now.
Yeah, yeah, it's okay. So the next week is fine. Yeah, but have you discussed with my daughter? Yes, we have. Uh, we have agreed to get married traditionally and do the white wedding next. It's okay. We shall be expecting you and your people. Sir, I would like to thank you for your support. I appreciate it. It's okay. I will always support my own. Dorothy is my daughter. I love her so much. So, see you soon. Appreciate it, sir. I'll be on my way. Thank you, sir. Okay. Appreciate it. Wow. Vanessa and Charles are wedding on 30th of this month. That means her diary has been paid and traditional rites done. <sighs> Tracy, what have I done to myself? This is all my fault. I did not pay heed to my dad. I just destroyed my life by my own self. My sister's wedding. It's first week next month. And my own girlfriend is having her wedding next week, Saturday. Mom, this is your fault. You should have corrected me when I was going astray. But instead, you fought Dad. Dad would try to discipline me. Just look at me. I'm all, all alone. I'm all cleft out. What do I do? Well, why didn't I just listen to my, my friend and drop my pride? I just have lost everything. I guess it's never too late to start all over. Changed, changed prices now. She's a classic lady, she's a lady, 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 she's a lady, lady, she's a lady, lady, she's a morning lady. She don't really care about what you do for a living. Oh, all she cares is about your money. Can you pay her bills? Oh, yeah. Can you tie her shoes? Oh, yeah. Can you buy her house? Oh, yeah. If you can't make you hide your face, can you pay her bills? Oh, yeah. Can you show your swag? Oh, yeah. Can you handle her? Oh, yeah. If you're not good, make you hide your face. She's a lady, 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 lady. lady. She's a lady. Classic lady, she's a lady, 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 lady. she's a lady, 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 she's a money lady. Yeah. What is life without money? Life without class, life without flexing, that's end life. Uh, if you don't have money, come my way, like ja, ta, 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 our way. Life is for hustlers, live as a liar. Trace, you are specially invited to my wedding on 30th this month. And I want you to please be my maid of honor as my girl way back. See you. And bye. Wow. Hi, bright to be. Hello, Vanessa. I'm fine. How are you? <laughs> Congratulations. Of course. 
<laughs> yes, I'll be happy to, to honor your invitation and also as your maid of honor. <laughs> Who are friends for? <laughs> of course, I'll be there, trust me. <laughs> Congratulations. Of course, go away, go away, get out of my phone. <laughs> bye, baby girl. Sure, bye. We have a wedding to plan. So let me get ready as made of honor. Not like I have a choice. <laughs> ah, Vanessa. Authority. Life happens. <laughs> My love. Yeah. I am overjoyed. <laughs> I'm equally very excited. So tell me, what do you have in mind? Um, honeymoon. Honeymoon? Mm -hmm. Alright, so where do you want to go? Yeah, do I want to go to Vegas? Is that the best place to go? Yeah. Vegas? Mm hmm Really? Mm-hmm. How about Perry? Uh, no, Vegas. Alright, All right, Vegas it is. Mm, no, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Yes. So I should start packing. But... Tonight? Not tonight, obviously. <laughs> that reminds me, you wanted to tell me something. What's that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's that? What's that? What's that? Can you, can you believe I saw Tracy at our wedding, seven guests at the reception. I saw her too. I was very surprised. <laughs> oh my, see Tracy, bringing herself down to save people. How? You know what? Let's drop this conversation. Let's talk about something else. Okay. Honeymoon it is. Mm. I love you. I love you more. <laughs> Is, is the door open? Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Oh, oh my god, you guys are leaving. I'm going to miss you guys. We're going to miss you too. Miss you too. Yeah. 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 I hope you're happy now. Of course, I'm excited. Oh <laughs> my god. Take care of yourself. So you guys are already leaving for the state like this. Yeah. You're going to leave me here. Oh. I told you to come with us and you said no. No, no, no. Let me stay and take care of the house. Okay. Don't worry. I'll call See, you. Make sure you keep in touch. Definitely. Will. And take care of yourself. Definitely. Oh, definitely. Take care. Bye. Bye. wrong with me. I hope I'm not having malaria or typhoid fever. Because I'm not ready to go for any injections. But why have I been throwing up and feeling so weak lately? the month and the last time I, I saw my jeez could I be pregnant pregnant no no am I three months gone my goodness what do I do I 
Alex is already married to my twin sister. Downcast. Tracy, did anything happen? What breaks your heart, my child? What's the problem? Mom. My child, you can't <laughs> talk to me. Did anything happen? Mom, I am. I am pregnant. What? Pregnant? How can you let this happen? <laughs> crying will not solve this issue. Don't worry, stop crying. Who is responsible for the baby in your womb? Alex. Which Alex? The same Alex that left you two months ago and got married to your sister? How is that even possible? Since Alex left, no man has touched me. <sighs> this is going to be a problem. Tracy, the same you that said we should put everything behind us and leave things the way they are. Mom, I said all of that because I want to change and... I want my own peace of mind. <laughs> you know what? You know what? Forget about these days. You are getting married to Alice as soon as they get back. In fact, I'm going to tell your father now. Mom, how can you say a thing like that? I can't. You can't. I'm going to tell your father. Mom, please don't do that. We can figure a way out. Mm -hmm. Yes. You want to figure it out? Then figure it out once I tell your father you're getting married to Alice mm. as soon as they come back from their honeymoon. Have you been? I've been good. I've been fine, baby. <laughs> That's good. Baby girl, marriage looks good on you. Come on. You're glowing. You can say that again. My husband is the best. <laughs> <laughs> so, how have you been? I've been, I've been good. Your parents? They're all good. <laughs> So, Vanessa, did you just call me to let me know you're in my vicinity or you want us to talk about something? Actually, yes, I want us to talk about something very important. Oh, okay. Do you remember Charles, my husband's best man? Um, um, uh, marvelous, right? Yes, marvelous. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I remember him. Yeah, the guy that came back from Canada. Okay. He said he likes you. What for? He told my husband in confidence that he wants to marry you. <laughs> marry me? Yes, don't you want to marry a Canadian boy? Why face pregnancy now? Sweetheart, I can understand the shock. But you can think about it if you want. But I'm you. I would just say yes. Come on. Oh, okay. My friend will soon be going to Canada. Mm, Canada. <sighs> wow. 
What do I do? I can accept marvelous while another man's seed is going inside of me. I've promised myself not to fight my sister anymore over Alex. I joyfully accepted them to get married. And now, am I going to fight my sister again? What am I going to do? I can destroy Dorothy's marriage. I can't. <laughs> what do I do? I'm not going to fight my sister over Alex again. I can't. Tracy, you can't do that. She's my twin. I'm just going to be strong. Yes. Tracy, you are strong. I'm going to remain strong and let it be the way it is. Tracy, my dear, listen, crying isn't going to solve anything. Alice cannot get you pregnant and run into the arms of the next available girl, your sister. No. Who did he leave you for? Who is going to marry you with this pregnancy or even as a baby mama? Huh? No. Even you, are you so daft that you couldn't decode that you were pregnant all along? Mama, well, that was going on. You don't put the blame on me. I had a lot going on. I couldn't even take note that I haven't seen my flow for so long. Alice must marry you. Soon as he gets back from Miami, he is taking you as a second wife. What? Yes. Mom, I thought we were done with all of this. I am not going to do that. Hey, listen, I am not going to destroy my sister's marriage. Hell no. I won't do that, please. Listen to yourself. No. Can you hear yourself talk? You sound very stupid. You don't have sense. You want to give birth in my house? I'm not going to let that happen. Tracy, you are not giving birth in my house. Mom, can you quit this drama? Why are you being so insensitive? Call it whatever you like. But I'm not going to be around and watch things go wrong. I'm not going to let you do what you did to me years back again. Mom, you destroyed my life. I'm not going to let you do that. I would have listened to father. Me? How? It was your fault that I lost Alice. Yes, it was your fault, mom. Am I the one that sent you to Alice's house to insult the sister and call her all sort of name? Old hag. Tracy, are you going to blame me for your bad character in an out of this house? No. No, no, no. Mom, get out. Leave my room. Go ahead. Cry over your loss. Enjoy it. Mom, leave my room now before I do something both of us will regret. Get out! What does it even have to take so long before I could recognize that you're such a bad mother? Oh. Out of my room. You can say whatever you like, but you see this bastard. You are not giving birth to this bastard my in my baby. house. He's not a bastard. And I will give birth to my child. Where is the father? If he's not a bastard, where is Get the father? Get out! Get out of my room! Get out! <gasps> my Oh my god! Oh my god! Mom! Ah! Tracy! My baby! Tracy! Oh, oh, Tracy. oh. My baby! He's out! Oh! Let's oh. oh. get, get, get you to the hospital! Oh. Try to get up! Yeah, yeah. She's 
lady, 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 lady. She's a lady, lady. She's a classic lady. She's a lady, 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 lady. She's a lady, lady. She's a morning lady. She don't really care about what you do for a living. All she cares is about your money. Can you pay her bills? Oh, yeah. Can you tie her shoes? Oh, yeah. Can you buy her house? Oh, yeah. If you can't make you hide your face, can you pay her bills? Oh, yeah. Can you show your swag? Oh, yeah. Can you handle her? Oh, yeah. If you're not good, make you hide your face. She's a lady. She's a lady, lady, she's a classic lady. She's a lady, 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 she's 